Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and welcome back to another subscriber replays episode, at last another subscriber replays so episode back up onto the channel. And this time we've got Novakosi again, he's been featured uh, with a subscriber replay once before on the channel, but it doesn't matter, he sent in a great game on the Emil one, and he was waiting for a very long time for me to be able to feature it on the channel, and finally, it is here buddy. So, firstly, before I go into the replay... Uh, of Nova, of course, I quickly want to point something out. I still have got a lot of old replays sent in by you, the subscriber. And the thing is, I just don't have the time to be able to put them all up on YouTube. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take a look at every single replay that I got sent in. Um, if the replay is, yeah, maybe good enough, I will maybe send you some feedback. I don't know if you want some feedback. But what I will do, I will take a look at every replay and then I will store them in a special folder on my PC. But just so you know, they won't be featured up on the channel again what we do what we are going to do at least is we're going to make a fresh start every replay that you're going to send in right now is at least going to have uh, some part in the subscriber replays series so as i said a fresh start at the end of the video i will show you how to send in your replays to me on my uh, personal email account but for now we're going to take a look at this replay sent in by nova cozy and the email one as we all know, the Emil 1 is the tier 8 Swedish heavy autoloader. Pretty weird actually, because this thing is probably as big as a tier 4 or 5 tank, right? Pretty weird stuff. But as you can see, this autoloader is very powerful in this location. And why is it this powerful? Not only because of the autoloader, but this, this gun just... Look at this. He's just annihilating the enemy team right here. Let, let's just... Yep, there we go. <laughs> well, there, pretty much only the gun was uh, the most important factor in this fight. But also, as we can see, if we take a, f yeah, a look at the front of the Emil, we can see this very well-angled frontal turret here. And we can see some ricochet shots off of the turret right there. And why is that? Well, this has probably got an impenetrable turret for any tank that it will meet. And that's the awesome part about the high tier auto loading heavy tanks from sweden they've got this unpenetrable turret and of course this comes with 12 degrees of 12 degrees of gun depression if the good turret only was not enough but yeah well he can't do anything to artillery hitting him right so yeah well that's pretty sad he makes a brave move here he reloads his magazine because he's pretty much sure he's not going to get Another shot at the 110. Probably should not have done that because, yeah, well, he could have, of course, had the chance to, took, to take the kill. But he didn't. Doesn't really matter. It all, it already happened. But because he reloaded uh, yeah, a little bit earlier, he is certainly going to be reloaded if he's going to engage the low way. He's been last been spotted in the middle of the map, as we can see. He's going to, of course, try to find the hill down location as he's pretty much golden in that way. He will not get penetrated in any way, shape or form if he goes hull down. So let's see where he is going to do this. As we can see, the hull team is pretty much working together here. Just, yeah, really nice stuff over here. Also at the other flank, at the western flank, uh, the eastern flank, I mean, it was just on. It pretty much got annihilated by Novakosi and his team. They all worked really well together, which was nice to see. Every time Novakosi got flanked, it, yeah, there was some guy, at least on the team, who was able to put a shot into the enemy tank to take them down. <coughs> so next up we've got a Patriot here. And yeah, well, as we all know, the Patriot is also a very balanced tank. Yeah, well, not also. The Emil might have a very good turret. It's, it has an alright mobility. But the thing is, the Emil doesn't really have the very awesome gun statistics. So yeah, what that means... Is that although the Emil has got this impenetrable turret. It's probably not overpowered. Or at least not as overpowered as some of the premium tanks in this game. At the moment. As we can see Emil also has a pretty quick reload time. With around I think it's 320 alpha damage per shell. Yeah 320. Good stuff. So yeah good damage potential for a clip. It's not as much as the 5100 of course. But that just makes the Emil 1 special. With this impenetrable turret. And an autoloader that is different from all the other tier 8 autoloaders in this game. And that's what I really like about this tank. As we can see, it looks like 
yeah, Nova Kosi's team is very much in the lead right now. Also, that is true to a degree. But as we can see, pretty much all of the enemy tanks that are left are camping. And if Scorpion tanks like that one are concealed behind some bushes, not like that one, of course. But if Scorpions are concealed behind some bushes, those tanks can be really, really dangerous. And yeah, well, this is just a really hard fight. Fighting against the Patriot with Nova Kosi not being held down entirely. And yeah, there are the bad gun statistics of the Emil one rearing their ugly head right there. So unfortunately, Nova Kosi doesn't manage to put some shots into the Patriot. He's reloading and he gets stunned by the artillery. Because yeah, the shot hit uh, closely, right? Yeah. Oh well, doesn't matter. So we've got a lot of enemy tanks surrounding Nova Kosi at the moment. But the thing is, he can't really peek around this corner too far because there we go. Some shots coming in from the campers back there. Probably the Scorpion G who has found himself a nice conceal, a concealed spot at the back of the map. Which is pretty unfortunate because yeah, if the Scorpion manages to high roll enough he can kill Nova Kosi. But it is really unlikely. As we can see luckily the S1 is going to come in to assist Nova Kosi. Oh god the Scorpion doesn't manage to penetrate him through the tracks which is pretty weird. Because the Emil 1 only has 20 millimeters of side armor. So the Scorpion should have been able to overmatch that. I guess. Or maybe I just suck at knowing the mechanics of World of Tanks, right? But anyways, artillery hits him for another 300. So that pretty much guarantees that Nova Kosi is not going to be able to take another shot from the Scorpion G. Let alone the T2065, the pilot of the Patriot. But as we can see, look at the chat. As I will go kamikaze, says the S1, and there he goes. <laughs> He's just going in like, oh my god. Uh, that's good. That would have been hilarious, right? If if I would have played that game, I would have laughed so loudly. Anyways, the S1 really liked what he did there, but unfortunately, it cost him his life. But there's only a Scorpion G left on the enemy team, and it's just a cave of spotting him, and that's not going to be too hard, as the T-34 and the Ferdinand on Nova Kosi's team are closing in, so it's just a matter of that Scorpion getting proxy spotted, probably. As one says, for the team, well done, buddy. <laughs> Amazing stuff right there. So, where's this last Scorpion? He cannot be too far away, right? No, of course, he's not taking any risks. He's just, yeah, playing it safe. He should, realistically, because he did really well this game. He does not want to fluff at the end. Yep, he says it in chat there, some good team play. As we can see, the Scorpion G got spotted. Another teammate puts in a shot. And there we go, Nova Kosi puts in the killing blow. Really well done, mate. Really good team play, just as you pointed out. Let's take a look at the statistics of this game. Well, Nova Kosi just a very solid all-round game in the Emil 1. The Emil 1 looks like a very interesting tank, a tank that I certainly should get my hands on myself. And this replay was indeed team play to the max. Before this video comes to an end, I quickly want to repeat what I said in the beginning of the video. I won't be putting any old replays that I got from the subscribers up on YouTube because I just don't have the time to do that. What I will do is I will take a look at each individual replay and store them in a special file on my PC. But not putting up the old replays onto the channel doesn't mean that you cannot send in new replays. So if you're interested in sending in a replay, I'll show you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in your replays. That's the video for now. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video as usual. And think about subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye.